What's up, YouTube? What y'all been up to? Ain't nothing over here. We chilling. Or whatever. What's up? I'm coming at y'all today with another banging video with a try on haul with my thrift clothes. I went to the thrift store initially to pick up some denims and they had a 50% off sale. Typically they'll have it at Value Village for sure. You could check the dates with your personal Value Village in your location. But the one that I'm near now, they have it on the second Wednesday of each month. So I didn't even realize it was the second Wednesday, to be honest. So when I stopped by and I seen it, I was like, I mean, we could fall out or whatever. I spent $60. <laughs> but with the $60, I was able to get a few pieces for myself and some for my loved ones. If I would have just got myself the pieces, I would have probably spent about $20. Because everything was 50% off. And the clothes that I got was like two, three pair of denims which one of the denims was the ones that I did in my um, Distress denim jeans turned into shorts. So if you haven't seen it yet, you can go click on that video and watch me turn some jeans into denim shorts. Um, and the other pieces I got was basically like the same thing, but a little twist with each one. But I'll go ahead and show them to y'all now. Stay tuned. So I got me um, a few of the plaid, plaid shirts. And this was actually from the men's section, but I typically go through the men's section. I got these shorts from the denim, but I just cut them, the denim section, but I just cut them and I just roll them up. I don't actually, um, I didn't actually turn these into shorts. I just turned them into like Bermuda shorts. And then this is my tea from my website. Go ahead and check out my website. It will be linked down below. It's linked down below in every video that I do. Be you style guy. I do have my own clothing line. So make sure you add it on Instagram. I'll put it right here. And also make sure you um, shop with us. This shirt was $6.50. So it was half off. In the men's section and I I just put these put this on already for the video because if I do pair with anything it would typically be something like this and I can always wear some socks some slouch socks and my tennis shoes or I'll either put it on some heels and still wear it sporty but this is the oversized plaid button up from the men's section And I got a few of these, and just in different colors. I got some from the women's section as well, but I'll still show them to y'all. I didn't realize it, but this one actually is almost the same color as the other one. It's just um, blue and gray. Mm. This one was actually $2, so it was half off of, of that. Maybe that's why I picked it up, even though it had the same color in it. I'm not sure, but it's really like basically like the same color. Or maybe I was feeling the blue that day. I don't know. However, it's still cute. And I'll, I'll still pair it with the same thing. Nothing will change. I'll still pair it with um, this or some tennis shoes or some heels. But I always prefer slouch socks with anything that's like tomboy chic. This one actually came from the women's section and it was $3. And you can always um, still pair, even though it's not oversized, you can still pair it with, um, maybe I, I probably wouldn't put a T on with this one. I would probably put on a um, bralette maybe with it. You know, you can actually button this up. Or you can always tie it. You wear the bralette. You can always tie it, and or you can, you know, button it up and still tie it. However you want to do it. But typically with this one, oh, you of course you know you can always put it. <laughs> size is it? You can always put it around your waist. You know this look never gets old. 
So, always do that. I have at least about four of these, but what am I losing for $1.50? From the thrift store as well. Um, and this blazer was $3. So it's 50% off that. It's so wild that I get these oversized blazers because my mom used to wear these oversized blazers back in the day and I used to be like, stop coming to stuff with that blazer on. That blazer look a mess. Now I can't get rid of them. They all in my closet. <laughs> I wish she would have kept them. The pockets actually close on this one, but I still love it though. It's cute, right? Which is so crazy that this still goes with everything that I'm putting on. So you can always, a white tee, any type of bralette, whatever the case may be, denims and white tee or t-shirt. Not all t-shirts to me would do good with it, but if you have a white tee that's just like little sands on it or whatnot, majority of the time it'll go with anything over top of it. So you can always pair it with some over top of it. And if you don't have some denim, you can always wear black or gray with um, any combo. So, look at me giving y'all a little tips. Y'all pick these joints up. Blake. Another blazer. Let me see. Red is like my color. I love red. This was $4.50. So, 50% off that. I love red. Majority, if I get a solid color blazer, majority of the time, I would um, paint it. I would do my custom prints on it and um, paint it with BU because I love the blazer. See, this one has pockets. I love it when they have pockets. Like, I love pockets. Um, so, I might put, I have a red blazer like this, but... I did a video on, on that as well, Four Ways to Style a Blazer, and um, it was a giveaway. So I actually gave that blazer away. So when I seen this red blazer, I was like, I'm back. Let me pick that up, because I'm ready to do it to this one too. And <laughs> have me another oversized red blazer, because I loved my oversized red blazer. But um, I actually did a giveaway and this girl won it, so I had to give it away. But I got it back. So I'm good. And um, even if you don't want to, like, if you want to dress it up, like, this this blazer has a button. So I went to an event before in um, L.A. And I painted the blazer. And I just wore the blazer. It was lit. It was cute. If I could, I'd probably put a picture beside it so you guys can see it. So you can always do that as well. And sometimes if you have just a solid blazer, and of course, if you don't have a way to, you know, make it extra, you can always put um, a bralette on that actually has, you know, shows some type of attention to your boob area and just oversized necklaces and necklaces on top of necklaces um, to give it a dramatic look. You can always do that with some um, thigh-high boots will always look nice. It's always an outfit, so you can always do that as well. Are y'all, do y'all have a pen and pad? Because, I mean, I'm giving y'all tips. <laughs> tips on top of tips. I got this oversized, oversized denim jacket there as well. It was um, $6, so 50% off that. And it has pockets. And I'll typically um, distress this as well. Maybe I'll, sometimes I'll um, crop the jacket and um, make it a little spazzy. Put some, put something on it to customize it. But um, I typically don't find, you don't find too many jackets at the thrift store, denim oversized jackets. But when I do, I try to um, snatch them up and um you know creating myself but i also have a wholesaler that i get the jackets from as well so either or but um 
I had to grab this one when I seen it because you don't typically see any at the thrift store as much. It always be like in the kids section. But if you do have kids, you can always go to the thrift store if you're always looking for a denim jacket. And sometimes when I shop for my niece or my godchild, their jackets always be like $26 for a denim jacket for kids. Go to the thrift store. Three, not if it's 50% off, it may be a $3 jacket, but majority of the time is not that high for a kids, for the kids section. So just go through to the thrift store. I mean, if you, I don't know, because some people discriminate with their kids wearing it, but I don't think I would. I mean, why should I not? I got this tea <laughs> from the thrift store and um, it was 50 cent it was a dollar but I didn't go to Virginia Tech like at all but I'm from Virginia so when I seen it I was like oh I want this <laughs> is that is that tacky or no I was like I don't care getting this <laughs> but even if you have a tea that you like or you know your favorite team's tea or whatever the case may be you can always roll your sleeves up to give it a little type of some, get a little sun, you know what I'm saying? And um, I always make my teas into crops, even though I'm not in a position to be doing all of that. But whatever the case may be, I don't care. We live in Hungary. 50 cent, what y'all gonna do? It's 50 cent. What y'all gonna say? I don't care. It's 50 cent. It was 50 cent. Get on my face. So I had to go put on my rainbow um, leotard for y'all. And you know, they'd be like $4 or $6. Sometimes you can catch them on a um, $3. I think I caught this one on a $3 rack. Right? Cause only time I shop in rainbow is to go look at the clearance rack. Cause their clearance rack be popping. I don't care what y'all talking about. It's not about how much the clothes are. How much they look on you that's what fashion style anyway this jacket was seven dollars this jacket was seven dollars i don't know where i'm aware to but it was 50 percent off it was seven dollars and it's popping it's popping. Mm -hmm. I really can see my whole body in the morning. So when I seen, I was like, "You, you feeling this? You, you catching these vibes in it? You got it. I know she understood me. She seen these little shiny vibes going on, and I was feeling them. So I was like, I'm gonna go ahead and pick this up. I can wear it with some. I don't know. <laughs> so I got it, and boom, pow." It look good. I like it. It's cute. It's a look. This is... This dress was $12, so it was half off of that. And typically I wouldn't show, you know, y'all seeing me put it on or whatever. But every time I would button it up at the bottom, it will come back and lose. It keeps coming back a loose. I don't know. I don't know what. <laughs> this is not. It's not trying to let me be great. And I like my little denim dress. And it is not trying to let me be great. I think a button came loose. <laughs> It was twelve dollars. So it was twelve dollars. But it's cute. It's got the little I'll get into these details. It's a little without it without it being ruffled up. Y'all can't tell me this ain't fire. Y'all cannot tell me this is not fire. This is fire. Like, 
For real? I did not know it was going to kiss on me. Look. <laughs> I'm going to have to get this away. I'm not going to be doing this. Keep on coming open. It keep, it's not going to be great. I am not that big. Don't keep on playing. It's so cute, though. I'm, I really love this this fit. These old school tight fits. I just feel like I have to put on the glasses. Look. It's a look. Oh my God. This is crazy. This is bomb. I'm loving it. <laughs> I'm really loving it. I'm feeling it. Six dollars. Six dollars? Six dollars. Six dollars. And you want to keep on opening up like this? That, that's what you want to do? <laughs> I, I'm not give up. It is what it is. But this is so cute. Like, for real. It's so bomb. It's not that long. It stops exactly at my knee. This is legit something that somebody will pay for. And don't play with me. So I will sell this bad boy on eBay. <laughs> raise that price sure will sure will i was just telling um side hustles if you want to check that video out make sure you check that video out i'll try to link it but yeah all these pieces for me of course you see it was 50 percent off but i can put all these pieces on ebay and sell them and double up What's this mean, y'all? What does this mean? Just coins, just coins right here, just dangling, just out here, just out here. <laughs> no, but for real, I mean, I would really purchase this. Like, it's definitely bomb. If I was a vintage chick, I would definitely purchase this. I don't know if y'all never ever watched Nasty Gal's documentary on Netflix, but she basically tell you like how she started off. With the website Nasty Gal, it is so good. Like, that's basically what she did. And it's like hardcore now. Of course, everybody's doing it now, but she did it when nobody was even thinking about it, which is more awesome. But yeah, it's so lit with selling things on eBay. You can go to any thrift store, any type of yard sale. People just buy stuff on eBay. Might as well go get these coins. There's definitely coins out here that's being missed. And we need to pick them up. But y'all let me know what y'all think of this video. If y'all want more try-on hauls, I'll give y'all more try-on hauls. Even if it's not thrift store, I can give y'all other try-on hauls of um, a shopping spree that I do or anything. I can always do try-on hauls just to give y'all more tips, fashion tips, or whatever the case may be. Give me a thumbs up, comment down below, and make sure you subscribe to my channel because we're trying to get those to those thousand subscribers. Holla at your girl.